Sorry about that, my battery died. So here we go, let's finish this up. So building new societies between the wars. First one look at distill. So they sought to create harmony between individuals and modern industry and technology. And Mondrian was a leader. He believed that vertical and horizontal elements and primary colors created rational beauty and balance in the world. So that's all he used in his work. And it doesn't sound like you could create much out of that, but he created hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of works. And they're all, once you get over um, the modernity of it and the simplicity of it, they're very, very interesting, I think. And then the Bauhaus was a design school founded by the architect Gropius. And he intended to teach artists a variety of disciplines and eliminate divisions between all arts, which is a cool idea. So this is a um, poster for an exhibition of the Bauhaus Art um, Group. It was designed by Herbert Bayer, who shows the school's modern rational aesthetic, which is very similar to Mondrian pieces, <laughs> as you can see here. So he distilled his art into what he considered the most universal signs of human order. Like I said, vertical, horizontal lines, primary colors. To him, these elements radiated an intellectual beauty. So this one is particular. It's called Trafalgar Square. It's in on page 508, along with that poster we just looked at. So Trafalgar Square is a place in London. He was actually from there, but had to um, evacuate during World War II and came to New York. And uh, with quite a few of his pieces, luckily survived. Some were lost to all eternity, but this is one of the ones that survived. And then this is a piece by Rietveld, who's the foremost architect of the distill movement. This is called Shorter House. It looks like a Mondrian came to life, right? So vertical, horizontal lines, primary colors, very simplistic, very angular. Horizontal planes, color-coded inside and out. And Marcel Brewer's armchair from 1928. I'm sure you've seen chairs that are similar to this or based loosely off of this design. It was intersecting planes in space. Also the principal behind Brewer's famous armchair. He was a teacher and a former student at the Bauhaus. And then last but not least is the Harlem Renaissance, so the merging of three American experiences, African heritage, legacy of slavery, and the realities of modern urban life. So the artist Douglas is representative of this era. And this is his piece, Aspects of Negro Life from Slavery Through Reconstruction, that he began in 1934. It was one of a series of murals that he did for the 135th Street branch of the New York Public Library and he referred to his style as geometric symbolism. And that is the last piece in the book for this chapter.